This is the 2014 APSA Cape Epic. The story of the 2014 APSA Cape Epic begins in Cape Town, the mother city, the jewel of the Western Cape. Competitors register at the V&A waterfront. Racing kicks off with a prologue at Mirandal Wine Estate before transferring to Robertson in the Langeberg region. Then it's on to the farmlands of Grayton at the apple plantations of Elgin before a traditional grand finale and heroes welcome at Lawrenceford Wine Estate. The prologue, Mirandal Wine Estate, 23 kilometers, 700 meters of climbing. It all starts at Mirandal Wine Estate on the doorstep of Cape Town. Riders take their first pedal strokes of the race with mixed emotions, nervous yet determined. It's straight through the historic manor house before attacking the purpose-built network of trails through protected Rhinosterfeld as they cast a wary eye towards the famous Stairway to Heaven climb. The 2014 race sees some surprising new twists to the prologue and as always promises spectacular views of Cape Town, Robben Island and one of the seven wonders of nature, Table Mountain. Stage 1, Robertson, 108 kilometers, 2,450 meters of climbing. The real action begins here at Arabella Wines, just outside the town of Robertson. Hosting the race for the very first time, the brand new village is home for three nights. As always at the Apsa Cape Epic, Stage 1 starts the race with a bang a shock to the system. This challenging loop winds its way through the foothills of the Langeberg mountain range with climbs of up to 28% gradient and precarious descents to match. It's a day of truth for all riders. From the head of the field to the thousand dedicated amateurs. It's been months of sacrifice and preparation just to get to the start. Have they done enough? Stage 2, Robertson, 101 kilometers, 1,550 meters of climbing. Licking their wounds after the rude awakening of stage 1, some will be left wondering if they'll make it through the week. But stage 2 is a day to enjoy, with fun, flowing semi-desert crew trails traversing the jagged red mountains. Riders pass through the friendly village of McGregor, enjoying the warm hospitality of the Langeberg region. They head deep into the unspoiled expanses of this rugged and striking landscape of sandstone and underlying shale formations before returning to the lush Breda River Valley and their last night at Arabella Wines. Stage 3, Robertson to Grayton, 134 kilometers, 1,800 meters of climbing. 
This is the longest stage of the 2014 race. The landscape slowly transforms from the red, semi-desert to fertile farmlands as the route takes riders through wildlife country and into the heart of the Cape Country meander. In the rolling pageant of human endeavour that is the APSA Cape Epic, riders and viewers witness spectacular 360 degree vistas, the track surfaces get smoother and riders eat up the miles. It promises to be a dramatic finish at another brand new race village at the Oaks Estate just outside the quaint town of Grayton where riders settle in for two nights. Stage 4, Grayton, 88 kilometers, 1,850 meters of climbing. The origins of mountain biking in the Western Cape lie here. Around the picturesque town of Grayton, nestled against the Rafid Sona End Mountains. With the recent boost to the vast network of trails, the twisty and rocky single track is now ready for the 2014 APSA Cape Epic to explore. An historic highlight of the day is the mission town of Hanardendal. Then it's more of the exhilarating single track that the Cape Country meander is famous for. Remember though, not all of it is downhill. Stage 5. Grayton to Elgin. 110 kilometers, 2,900 meters of climbing. This is the Queen Stage, arguably the hardest day of this year's race, with the most climbing. It takes the riders from Grayton into the Elgin Valley. The longest climb of the day, named Rusty Gate, reaches the highest point of the race. But there are several more short, sharp hills near the end. A brutally rugged false flat flanking the majestic Krunlandberg before riders drop down to the familiar race village at Oak Valley Wine Estate, home for the next two nights. Stage 6. Elgin, 85 kilometers, 1,800 meters of climbing. The penultimate stage is a fitting climax to an epic week. Now comes the prize after hundreds of hard kilometers. The sight of the vineyards and apple orchards of the Elgin Valley bring joy to the weariest of souls. With some 30 kilometers of flowing trails, Riders are richly rewarded for the week's hard work in this relatively short but very sweet stage six. The challenges, hardships and misfortunes of the days before forgotten as they rail the manicured single track of Lebanon, Tundi, Paul Kluver and Oak Valley. Stage 7, Elgin to Lawrenceford Wine Estate, 69 kilometers, 1,800 meters of climbing. It's a traditional final day, all culminating at Lawrenceford Wine Estate. A hero's welcome awaits. But it's no free ride to the finish. There are a few final hurdles in their way, like the Nieverberg climb, once a burnt moonscape, now replenished by Mother Nature. Riders will once again see False Bay and Cape Town where their journey began some 700 kilometers ago. After the treacherous descents, some flowing single track offers a final reward before being reunited with loved ones at Lawrenceford Wine Estate in what is sure to be yet another emotional grand finale.
eight days, 718 kilometers, 14,850 meters of climbing. This is the 2014 Absa Cape Epic. 